Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at some of the new features in the Face Puppet tool, namely the improvements to the control areas as well as the different record modes. The Face Puppet tool is one of the more robust and versatile weapons in iClone's animation tool arsenal. Let's jump into it. To access the Face Puppet tool, simply make sure your avatar is selected and then go into the animation section. To do a quick preview, simply click on the preview button at the bottom left and then press the space key when you're ready to go. Your character's head and expression will then change based on your mouse movements. Once you preview, you will see the first improvement to the Face Puppet tool, which is the gizmo that will appear on the screen that allows you to see where your mouse cursor is in relation to where you first started your puppet preview. You can also see a new percentage slider at the bottom of the window, which will allow you to determine how much of the screen is occupied by that gizmo. You can also choose to confine the Puppet Gizmo space to within the viewport by selecting that option as well. You can see the results here. Let's take the control area out of the viewport and then return the percentage slider back to 50. Keep in mind that when you're previewing, nothing will be recorded and therefore will not affect your existing clips. When the mouse cursor gets around to the inner circle, the expression strength will be about 50% while the second outer circle represents 100% expression strength. There are three different record modes in the Puppet Tool. These are New, Blend, and Replace. If you already have a motion clip recorded like in this example, when you hit Record while the New option is selected, it will completely erase that Puppet Clip and overwrite it with your new recording. Let's give that a whirl right now. After we're finished, you'll notice that the clip will be completely new in the timeline. Here's a quick comparison of the before and after when we use the new option. Lieutenant Thompson, ready for action. The replace mode is really cool in that it allows you to replace the puppet effect for certain areas of the face individually while still maintaining the original puppet performance on all of the other facial parts. In this example, I'm using the replace method and selecting only the eyebrows. Once I record, the result will be the same as the original, only now I've replaced the animation results for the eyebrows. Here's a quick look at the comparison to show how our replace puppet worked. Lieutenant Thompson, ready for action. Finally, there is also blend mode, which you can use to fine tune your existing expression performance, or simply add in a bit of nuance to parts of it. What I'm doing right now is selecting a bunch of different sections of the face, and then I'm going to go ahead and record using different mouse movements to elicit unique facial expressions. These facial expressions will then blend into the existing underlying clip at whatever strength you set to create a new unique expression performance. That's just a brief introduction to the new features of the Facial Puppet tool with iClone 7.9. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com, as well as our YouTube channel for regular updates. I'll see you in the next video.